Hello, boys and girls. It's the Sonic News. With <laughs> me, Bugsy. It's Kalinker. I'm Sugar And man about the street. Hard oh, yeah. Oh, I am glad we did this. Glad we're bringing this back. <laughs> Major? I'm so happy because we, we haven't done this in so long. Alright, guys, we got a lot of news to cover. And not a lot of time to do it. Alright. Well. Hmm. Okay. Well, Sonic Runners is. is gonna kind of be confirmed. kind of be confirmed because uh, they're going. You know, uh, Sega's going to this. Uh, mobile event that's probably going to show Sonic Runners. Which, okay. I mean, cool. People we were, we were like, we were all disappointed that the uh, tra the launch trailer they were, that, that they were supposed to see didn't come to pass. And really, it's okay. I mean, I'm personally not, like, tripping out about it. I mean, like, okay. What Sonic Runners was supposed to be with, like, you know, leaks on 4chan. And you gotta take 4chan, um, you gotta take leaks on 4chan with a grain of salt, because you know it's some dude probably just saying, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you not saying that the per person that did leak something, leaks may not be true? Sometimes they can be true, people. I mean, Super Smash Brothers, um, Super Smash Brothers 4 was pretty much a, uh, you know, people leaked those, pe you know, leaked the game, and they were all like, Oh, no, no, Bowser Jr. Oh, my God, Bowser Jr.'s in the game. So, you know, again, you know, leaks may not, you know, maybe the leaks are true. We don't know. Just because we didn't get the trailer, that doesn't mean, we, that, doesn't mean that um, some of the stuff in Sonic Runners ain't really, tr ain't really disproven as false just yet. So, yeah. Bring it, bringing it, bringing it on. Bringing it on is hard. Is well, we're gonna do something a little different. Usually, it's just usually it used to be just me saying saying one part of the news, Ani saying another part of the news, and Harvey saying his part, his two cents on it. But guys, it's time for me to show you guys something. What do you mean? But let's see what you're showing. What is up, Troll Art this? staff? My name nah, is... Oh, man, that's on the... That's... That's... That's for me. But... Prism on the go lets you access entertainment <sighs> What is... What is it, man? Guys, what I'm gonna... What I'm gonna tell you... What you're gonna see in this... What you're gonna hear in this is gonna be shot. It's gonna make you wanna punch Sega in the... It's gonna make you want... It's gonna make you want... Sega to be personified so you can punch it in the gut. So they said, um, but we all know the we all know the gist. They said the Wii didn't have enough processing power. I mean, if the Wii U was out, right? If the Wii U was out when Sonic um, Generations was out, I bet you they'd be like, you know, let's put it on the Wii U. I mean, let's just let's do it, let's do it, let's fucking do it, let's just do it. But at the end, they just released the game on PS3, Xbox 360. Okay, that's what you wanted to tell us. No. Sonics, the third one being from the Dreamcast era, voiced by none other than Ryan Drummond, who, if what? you don't know, was the voice of Sonic in Sonic Adventure what? 1 and 2 and Sonic Heroes. But because of some unresolved issues, he ended up turning down the opportunity. That being said, the Dreamcast Sonic Come on, was Ryan. removed from the Ryan, game. Ryan, you could have been in Classic a Sonic, Sonic game, was also bro. Supposed to have Just a for a bit. Sega wanted Jaleel White, the guy who voiced Sonic in the what? old cartoons, such as Adventure of Sonic That's Hedgehog, Sonic Sat AM, and Sonic Underground. But for some reason, wait a minute, Jaleel White was gonna be in Sonic Generations as classic Sonic. Oh hell yeah, Sega! God dang it, do you guys want us to hit you? <laughs> this is what you want to. It was so bad. We want to. All three of us want to now. God damn.
dang, come on. I mean, I understand, Ryan, because, you know, dude's doing different things. And I, I, you know, we, I ain't gonna... Because, you know, back in the day, we tried to force him back into being Sonic. And, you know, it's kind of messed up. I want, you know, we do like Ryan Drummond, but we got under, you know, we understood, you know, it took us a while, but we understood that, you know, the dude ain't coming back. You know, he doesn't, you know, he doesn't need to come back. You know, we got another Sonic voice up there. You know, Jason Griffith was, you know, he, <laughs> he was, he was an okay Sonic. He's a, he was an okay Sonic. I ain't gonna... He was a little goofy and a little bit corny, but yeah, he was an okay Sonic. People always go like, oh, you know, me and, you know, me and Bugsy and Harry might not, and myself included, we just kind of enjoyed... We started to enjoy Jason Griffith. Even though we still kind of made fun of his voice every now and again. But really, he wasn't a bad Sonic. He wasn't. He was. He was pretty good. And, you know, it took him a while, but he, you know, he really did nail Sonic at to a point, and it was good. You know, but me and Bugsy still kick ourselves because, you know, me and Bugsy actually did try to call, um, we did try to call Nintendo America during Bring Ryan Drummond in Brawl, and I wish we never did that because, we, you know, me and him still kick ourselves that we actually went that far. <laughs> yeah, I still do. We were, we were dumb kids back then. We were dumb, 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 dumb kids. <sighs> but, you know, it just makes him... And they said they never got around to contacting Jilla White. He would have done it! He so fucking would have done it! Oh, man, that could have opened up so many other things. It could have been like... Oh my god, Jaleel White's so popular. Maybe we can do a sad AM game. Maybe we can! Honey, we can sit here all day. We can sit here all day talking about if, like, if Ryan Drum, and, like, if, if freaking Ryan Drum was in Generations, and if freaking Classic Sonic, and if freaking uh, Jaleel White was in Generations as Classic Sonic. We can sit here all day, guys. We can sit here all day talking about this for, like, an infinite am amount of time, but um, it's time to talk about um, time to talk about the comics. It's comic time. Yeah, we really need music for this. Oh, I actually do. Really? Yeah, I come prepared. Hi. I came prepared. I love this new fresh to go bar, especially the made to order pizzas. I know there's a lot of great stuff at our new. <laughs> This is Sonic, and you're watching Sonic's channel. It's comic time, people. Well, we got a lot of good things. We got, we, um, Sonic. Yeah, we got the Sonic, um, Unleashed crossover, which is pretty good, I'm, I gotta say. It's pretty good. But what got me this month was the was the Sonic Universe um, book with uh, t which is telling basically <sighs> alright you better go into that anyway it's telling about the freaking um, just telling Nicole's um, story a little bit um, you know because this new universe Because the new universe in the comic doesn't have Nicole like go back to the feud was an, in a future where the Freedom Fighters were or the Freedom Fighters were like cool, but yeah, you know, she came back and she was Sally's. Um, the thing is, the thing with that is, I like that better, but you know, this is a good, this is a little good explanation because. Um, you know, a lot of people have want, you know, wanted a, like, an explanation for, uh, Nicole. Even, it dates back all the way in San Uh, Ben Hurst never got to do that because, you know, um, because San Am was cut short. And I really hate that, that San Am was cut short because it was so good. 
It was so good, and that could have, you know, that was actually going to be one of the things that they would have done in season three. Um, but back to, but back to that, but back to the comic. Um, it just show, and, you know, we see how the uh, cyber cyber world or cyberspace is for Nicole, which actually kind of feels like. Um, if you guys remember the Iron Queen, the Iron Queen Dominion um, arc. It's still kind of like that, just a little different. And we meet this dude named. Uh, give me a minute. I gotta go grab my comic. I need it for reference. I need it for reference. Give me a minute. Give me a minute, folks. I just need my comic for reference because sometimes I forget names. And that's a that's a bad that's a bad habit to have. It's a bad. It's a bad, like, uh, it's a bad thing to have. And sometimes, if you're, sometimes if you're me, you forget people's birthdays. It's, uh, kind of horrible. <laughs> you know, you freaking forget your own sister's birthday. Your own sister's birth, your sister's birthdays. Everything. I do like this new story arc because at least, I guess, Sonic... The universe is at least trying not to do the old adaptation, adaptation, adaptation. And it puts Sally, this puts Sally in a more, in a role, in a role. Because really, all they've been doing was uh, finding the Chaos Emerald and stuff like that that Eggman had. And now they're doing something else. So this is pretty much a good little story. Um, this is a good story. But oh, they're trying to find what's his name. Uh, his name. Well, his name is Doctor Ellings Ellingsley. Doctor Ellingsley. I guess, I don't remember Dr. Drellingsley, maybe he, I don't remember, I remember he was doc, Doctor in um, the old storyline. I don't really remember uh, Dr. Drellingsley, I think they just added him in there, like he's just a new character. But he's always been there, because, uh, because of the new universe and everything. And, and, you know, and another thing, another thing that you may notice, uh, you don't, she, <laughs> let me explain. Um, since Sally's mother is no longer in the comic, I think they're going with the, uh, alternative, which was, like, uh, Ben Hurst's idea, where he's like, you know, Nicole, Nicole, Nicole's name comes from, uh, Sally's mother. I think that's what they're doing with that. Which I really, again, I like, but it depends on where they're gonna go with this. And then we got this new villain called Paige, or Plague, oh, yeah, Paige, which is really weird, and, I don't know, kind of evokes this feeling of one of the creatures from Spirited Away for some reason. I, you know, but I really enjoy this, like, we actually see Tails, and Big, we all know I can do Big's, Big's voice with, like, the greatest of ease, but not even the point. <laughs> Um, you know, I I like this little issue, and you know, I think the main I the main line is just gonna be doing adaptation after adaptation, and not doing anything. I mean, I mean, yeah, they're gonna do something cool with it, but I want them, you know, I want them, I want stories like they used to do it, but like, you know, not when it's so gung ho on doing adaptation after adaptation because after the freaking unleashed. Um, adaptation is done. I hear they're doing an adaptation of Sonic the Fighters, and guess who they're bringing? And guess who they're bringing in? They're bringing in Breezy. Well, a different Breezy, not the not the Breezy that was a robot. I, I think that I think Archie does still own Fiona, but I'm not really even sure if he, if I'm not really sure if like uh, Ken Penders does. If anybody knows, uh, please tell me, because I don't know. Or maybe just Breezy is Fiona's replacement. And people are like, 
you, you know, and Ken Fender's like, you know, ask Archie, you know, if you want these characters back in the comic book, just ask them. Yeah, I don't think anybody's gonna want to ask because you know you did try, you did so, you did try to sue them. So they ain't gonna hear to us because of what you did. And not like I hate the guy. Cause that, you know lately I've been kind of rethinking uh, that 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 I hate him. Um, it's just the fact of the matter is, you know, the universe got changed because this, you know, because you know, because he was like, oh, I want these characters. I'm not getting enough credit and. You know, they started crediting him in the earlier comic books. If you have earlier issues before the little change up with the world, they didn't credit him for most of those characters at the end of the comic. But, oh well, it happened. And, you know, we all gotta deal with it. But I just hate the fact that they took out Elias. They took Elias away. They took Sally's mother away. You know? It, it kind of sucks because I like I like Elias. I really did. I really did. And it's gonna be kind of it's it's kind of cool that um you know you know freaking King Max and yeah you can call him King Acorn. I'm still gonna call him fucking King Max. I don't care. I don't care what any of you say. I'm still calling him that. It's cool that King Max is no longer a curmudgeon old. A curmudgeon old fart anymore. It's just so, so refreshing. They can actually, he can actually do stuff now. It's just beautiful. I just wish it didn't come at the cost of. Uh, <laughs> I wish they could have worked on that with the. I wish they could have worked on that if like, you know, um, can we can we still have like Sally's mother, Elias, um, a few of these other characters, or do you need them? Yeah, I wish they would have worked something out where they could have kept Elias and the other, other ones, and even the Secret Freedom Fighters, because they were like that was the best arc ever. To me, I've read a lot. I've I've uh, backpedaled a lot with some of the issues, but the Secret Freedom Fighters arc that was the best one, in my opinion. These people say, oh, it's not like Shady M, it's not like Shady M, it's not like Shady M. And I'm like, look at this arc. Look at this arc. And tell me. Sit, you can sit and dispute this with me. How the Secret Freedom Fighter arc does not feel like old school Shady M. Tell me. Because I would like to know. Because it's kind of, it's kind of the same thing. Because they're a group of they are a group of freedom fighters fighting a tyrannical rule of a certain somebody and they're trying to overthrow him with various plans. Yeah, they may have changed, they may have swapped out Robotnik for Nagus, but, but, um, uh, it's pretty much the same premise. You know, I ain't like, you know, those... You know, those uppity Saturday M fans that go like, Oh, you like the freaking Archie comic? It's not like Saturday M. I'm like, I, like I always say, you know, I'm like, It's Saturday it's M if Saturday M never left. You know, if, if Ben Hurst still kept going with it. I mean, well, I mean, I guess, I mean, really, if it kept going like Family Guy, I guess that would kind of work because... There, you know, unlike Family Guy sometimes, um, there's still a lot of stuff you can do. Like, there's a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff you can do with Sonic. A lot of stuff you can do with the Freedom Fighters. So, you know, that's why I love the comic. There's just, there's so much stuff you can do with Sonic as a character. And there's so much stuff you can do with the Freedom Fighters. Uh, but I guess it's been a long-winded explanation of why about the comics, and I guess I could save the rest for another video. Personally, I just enjoyed this. I enjoyed, I enjoy the soft reboot of the universe. I just wish we didn't lose characters. I wish we didn't lose a lot of characters. I mean, Amy had a freaking, Amy actually did have a family, and Rob, Rob O'Hedge, Rob O'Hedgehog, you know? And now he's gone. And I kinda liked him. He was kinda like he was like he was technically like Robin Hood in Amy's relative 
they were Amy, they were Amy's cousin, and I was like, oh, I was like, cool. You know, bring it gives depth to Amy's character a little bit that she actually has family. And you know, I you know, freaking, freaking Amy has technically matured, and I like that. I like that Amy matured in the comic. In the game, she's like a one no joke, but in the other stuff, in the other stuff, she's a lot more capable, a lot more mature, and not always wanting Sonic's, and not only, and not always wanting Sonic's, you know, blue marbles, blue marbles, even though, even though she kind of does still, but you just, it, it, it's done in a subtle way. I mean, it's done this all the way in Sonic Boom that she can't really notice. I mean, she still kind of does in the comic, but she understands that Sally, you know, him, is, him and Sally are meant to be, so it's like, you know, she like, she goes, ah, oh, yeah. I mean, not to say that she won't jump on the chance if, like, Sonic and Sally ever break up again, she will, she'll try. But, uh, other than that, Other than that, you know, so, you know, Amy's a good character in the comic book, and in Sonic Boom, in Sonic Boom, I just wish they'd work on fixing her in the video, in the main line of video, in the main Sonic canon. If they do that, oh, I, I, I take back every mess of thing that me and the guys said about Sega today. Even though I still want to punch them in the gut because god dang, how can you not contact your little white? That would have been still, that would have still been cool. I understand Ryan Drone can't do stuff, do Sonic stuff anymore. And he understands he's got like other stuff to do. He's got like kids and everything. He's got a family now. He's like all this and that. But come on, you could get your little white. It's not like he was doing something. It's not like he wasn't really doing much of anything during, um, I don't think he was doing much of anything during, um, uh, Sonic Generation's product, you know, during Sonic Generation when it was getting made, so he could have he could have totally done it if they would have just bothered to contact him. I would have enjoyed that. I would have enjoyed. I mean, but he but he'd have to, but there'd have to be a set in the level. I am sorry. There 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 would just have to be. Okay, there would just have to be. They'd have to make it so. You know, and that's the weird thing, you know, with all of us, with all the freaking Sonic Generation mods, no one has ever created a Sonic Set AM, uh, level mod. Probably on the Great Forest, or maybe Robotropolis, that would have been cool. I ain't talking about the CD Robotropolis, I am talking about the actual, I am talking the one from Set AM. But, I'm done here, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna keep rambling. So we're done here. This is this is Ben. Hold on, the hold on, guys, game man. We need to we need to do this the only way we know how. All right, let's. Uh... That's it. That's it for the Sonic News. For the, for the Sonic News. I've been Bugsy. I'm Bugsy. I'm on Saga Mario. And I'm hard. And we're gonna say. And we're gonna say. See you guys later. Always. Always chill, guys. And when it's juice and jam time, we'll be back again. Because this is the new, improved Sonic News. And we're going to be back. We're going to be back when there's more news for us to talk about. We'll see you guys soon. Big three, we're, the big three, we're out.